Today we're going to take this Kentmere uh, 100 ISO black and white film out of the box, load it in a couple cameras, and then I'm going to show you some sample photos taken with it so you know what to expect. To open the box, we're going to grab this tab here and tear it off. We tear off this tab so that if your camera has a memo holder in it like this one does, you can slide the tab into the memo holder and know what type of film you're using while you take photos. Next, we're going to take the tub out of the box, and here's your roll of 35mm Kentmere 100. To load it into a camera that has an automatic film advance, we simply open the back of the camera, drop the cassette into the, take, into the film chamber over here, pull out a leader, and line up the leader with the orange dot on the other side. Now we close the back of the camera, and the film will advance automatically or when we hit the shutter button. Some cameras like this have some silver pins in them that read the DX code on the film. This camera does not. If your camera has the silver pins, then you don't have to set the, the film speed automatically or manually. The camera will do that for you. On cameras like this that do not have the silver pins, you will need to set the film speed yourself. This is a 100 ISO film. ASA and ISO are the same thing. On cameras like this, which have an, a manual advance on this side, first we're going to open up the back of the camera, drop the film cassette into, into the chamber, and push the forks in place. We pull out a leader and slide the end of the leader into the take-up spool. Hold our finger over the sprockets like that and advance the film. Next, we're going to close the back of the camera. You'll advance to frame number one and be sure to set your film speed to 100. ASA and ISO are the same thing. Now I'm going to show you some sample photos taken with Kentmere 100 so you know what to expect from this film.